What we're going to be discussing is multiple players that disappeared completely. Des Bryant was lauded for his incredible physical play and a reliable red zone target. And in the 2014 NFL season, Des Bryant and Tony Romo would finally establish a connection, which would result in 16 touchdowns and 1,320 receiving yards. This would be good enough to lead the NFL in receiving touchdowns. And at this point, Des Bryant was becoming a household name as a wide receiver. And when he came back in 2016 and teamed up with Dak Prescott, he only was able to put up 796 receiving yards and was beginning to drop a lot of wide open footballs, which would result in Des Bryant getting released. Des would then go on to sign with the New Orleans Saints, but literally two days after Des Bryant would tear his Achilles tendon during a team practice, he would sign with the Baltimore Ravens practice squad. Unfortunately, right before he got a chance for a revenge game against the Dallas Cowboys, he would test positive for COVID and would be ruled ineligible.